Deep in the backwoods of South Texas, you never know what might be lurking around the corner or in your tree. And he saw this strange animal sitting up here eating corn. In Ratcliffe, a small town in DeWitt County, residents are certain they found the mythical, despicable chupacabra. And this time, it's alive. Jackie Stock says her husband caught the creature Sunday night. He called me to come and look, and I said, Bubba, that looks like a baby chubacabra. With its hairless back, large claws, countless teeth, and ferocious growl, many would say How's this that? animal fits the bill. You know, I hunted coons, you know, 20 years with dogs and all that. And I ain't never seen nothing look like that right there. Parma says one of the big signs it's not a raccoon is its growl. Coon don't make that noise, or a possum. What makes that noise? I guess chupacabra does. I don't know. <laughs> Here in DeWitt County, most people are convinced this is the elusive chupacabra. But what do wildlife experts have to say? The animal in the cage, as best I can tell from the view, was some form of a small canine. Brent Ortigo, a biologist with Texas Parks and Wildlife, says a canine can include a coyote, dog, or even a fox. He says the animal most likely has mange, which has caused it to lose its hair. But as for a chupacabra, well, he thinks otherwise. It's never been proven to be uh, a unique species. It was always something out there that allegedly either caused harm or threatened to cause harm to people or their livestock. Chupacabra or not, right now this little guy is staying at the stock household, living off a diet of cat food and corn. At least until someone can find out what it really is. We've never seen anything like that on our place before. In Ratcliffe, I'm Janelle Bluda, KVU News.